What's going on guys? Today is day two of the Marathon Offshore Bull and Cow Tournament and we are looking forward to it, catching some fish, but first we need to go down this canal and then go to full throttle to get over these flats to get offshore. We're diving the other day. miles out but I just wanted to tell you who my team members are starting with the captain captain Kevin Rally of Tighten Up Charters and he's grow up he grew up down here in Big Pine and he really is an excellent fisherman we're also fishing with JT who is one of his best friends and an excellent fisherman as well and then we're also fishing with Eric and Eric is the owner of this boat and um, he was super nice to let us stay at his house and enjoy the beautiful Florida Keys here and now we're fishing on his boat. And I just want to give you a little background on what's been going on with this tournament the last couple days and uh, why we don't have that much footage from the last two days as well but we pre-fished on Friday and uh, we had a group of guys with us it was pretty rough out it was blowing real good we did we found some fish on some frigate birds and um, we ended up catching a couple fish a couple of them pulled the hook but we didn't find the big ones we were looking for and we had a run in because of a huge storm that was approaching us, a big front. Um, so we went in and uh, ended our day early and then the, yesterday, which was the first day of the tournament, was even rougher than the first day and uh, we were the whole day just getting sprayed by water. There was a four to six foot chop out here and um, there was 20 knot winds gusting. It was just crazy out here so you couldn't even take the camera out because it was that wet on the boat um, and we got drenched all day long we found a ton of fish yesterday as well a ton of birds were out there a lot of schooly fish and when I say schooly that's a small dolphin that's a dolphin that's barely legal um, a lot of them are called flippers because you flip them over to the side of the boat they're so small so uh, we caught we found a lot of those we found the right target species we just didn't find any big fish and the biggest fish weighed in at the tournament was a 33 pound dolphin and that is fairly small for this area this time of the year usually somebody brings in a 50 pound fish so um, the conditions were not that ideal out there but a lot of fish just no big fish so today's a brand new day hopefully we can get on those bigger fish we're running much further out because today the conditions are perfect we're not going to get wet and we can see real far so we have a lot of good things on our side a great advantage and uh, now we just need to get the opportunity um, presented to us with a big fish and hopefully we can get it done. All right, I got our first fish on the day. It's a little one, but to start. Do you want to just clip him in? Mm -hmm. Right over you. Woo! Time for a tournament update. It's about noon right now. We are currently trolling. Um, and we are trolling on the wall, which is a location out here 20, 30 miles out, um, out of the Florida Keys. And we haven't had much luck, honestly. We've found a lot of fish today. A lot of, we have like five or six mahi-mahi that are smaller inside our fish box. Um, but we, you know, we just can't seem to find the big fish. And to basically, there's two methods of what we're doing today and how we're fishing. But basically, one method is trolling, which is what we're doing now. We have four lines out and uh, basically each person on the boat kind of handles each has their own position on the boat to drop back baits uh, but we are currently trolling those and we're on the wall not much luck here there's a lot of scattered weed when we find a lot of scattered weed in one area we like to troll there because there could be fish mixed in between and then uh, we also like to run and gun and run and gun is basically the captain runs out into a general direction of where he thinks the fish may be and a lot of the times just luck of the draw because the fish move and change day to day so you know they're not going to be in one particular spot all the time and then um, when we find something fishy looking we're looking for two different things we're looking for birds um, a lot of times you want to find those frigate birds and if you find a frigate they're going to be on a huge fish most of the time or something good 
And um, the other thing is you want to find smaller birds like terns and seagulls that are out here. And usually there'll be a bunch of them together and they're like working a school of bait, a school of fish or bait. And so that's really cool to see. So, and then also if we can't find the birds, we're also looking for debris. So we're looking in the water and above the water. And um, in the water, we're looking for anything from like bamboo to Cuban rafts to, you can find the craziest things out here, rope, a bundle of rope. Um, you can find so many things. It's insane what you find out here. Yesterday, we found a 20 foot long bamboo pole um, and it had a ton of growth on it. And you know it's been out here for ages because it has algae and barnacles and shells on it. And uh, usually those things have cold fish, but we didn't find any fish on it yesterday. So basically that's what we're doing today when we, fi we finally figure out there's no fish in one particular area. Well, as soon as, okay, let's say just for instance, example really quick, you run out and then you find birds. So you all of a sudden, every, he stops the boat, captain stops the boat, he tells everybody to drop the lines in the water, all the trolling rods. We drop the trolling rods, then somebody stands on the bow here and basically has their own spin casting spin casting setup and they're using pitch baiting basically sight fishing to these big fish so we'll roll up to where we think the fish are um, and then he'll start casting at the front to the fish and then we set back the rods trolling so that way we are covering all grounds if there's fish behind us fish in front of us we usually can catch them and then if that doesn't work and you know we decide to move on everybody reels up reels up all the lines each person has their own position on the boat and then uh, we basically take off again and then we stop when we find something good so we are about to start running and gunning again and uh, hopefully we can get something soon because this tournament is over at 3.30 p.m. So we've got like two and a half hours left. We're back at the dock cleaning up the boat getting stuff unloaded and all that great stuff but um, it was a little disappointing unfortunately we didn't catch any more fish um, we basically got all our bites in the morning and there's a bunch of fish around like I said we found our target species but you know we didn't find that big boy we were looking for the big bull um, so you know that's why it's called fishing not catching you know so I had a high hopes just because we're in the Florida Keys but that just goes to show you you know fishing is tough in all conditions you know it doesn't matter really where you are and there was a cold a front that came through yesterday that really changed the atmosphere and the pressure and all that stuff the conditions that you know make fish bite so apparently today was a very slow day and it's also coming up to the full moon so the fish are feeding at night um, so they're not very active during the day and the fish we did find didn't even want to eat chunk baits or pretty much anything so that's fishing but you guys need to check out the bull and cow tournament it's an excellent tournament that they put on annually every single year and uh, you can check out big time bait and tackle down in marathon florida the the person that puts on this tournament owns big time bait and tackle so you need to check that out and then um yeah so thank you guys very much for watching once again sorry there wasn't enough fish action this time but there's nothing i can do about that so until my next adventure follow your dream and keep on catching cheers